Happy Vloggers family! So listen, don't judge me, okay? I know that this pound of laundry got taller since the last time you guys saw it, but that's why we're here today. We are going to tackle this entire bed of laundry. And you probably can't see the whole thing, so let me show you what I got going on here. Because I love to wash clothes, but I hate to do laundry. So this is what our guest bed looks like, okay? Like I said, don't judge me. We are taking care of it today. So I'm going to make some room for me to start forming piles. And then we'll get started. Because <laughs> this is ridiculous. My husband doesn't even look. Let me tell you something. My husband doesn't even look for his clothes anymore where they're supposed to be. He don't even look. His first place to go is this bed. Because he already know. And you know, it's so funny because once upon a time, he would have a completely different attitude, right? Um, I was working from home. I was here all the time. And he would come in from a hard day's work. And there would be laundry piled up. Or dinner not done. Or dishes not washed. And he would have a real issue with that. Because I've been home all day. And he didn't realize that even though I was home, I had a real job. We went through a phase where it wasn't like a real job. He thought I was a housewife. <laughs> and he would have an issue with things not being done or if he called and I didn't answer the phone or something like that. And so I had to help him to realize that, you know, regardless of whether I'm at physically at home, during my work hours, I was actually working. And I don't think it even really sunk in for him until he was out from work and he had knee surgery. And, you know, of course I was home taking care of him, but I was working also and he got to see, hear me working all the things that I did in a day and it just clicked for him um, just how much I had to do working from home. So since we've been here, um, when we first moved into this house, I was working from home and he was driving for Uber and so he was home a lot and um, things were just different, you know. Um, things were a little more lax on the job for me and I would, I just, I don't know how to explain it, but I kept the house clean, Din I kept dinner on the stove, things had changed on my job. Um, I think my responsibilities changed at work. Um, there was a definition of whose job was who. Everybody had their own captainships that they were responsible for. I had put some time in on the job, so I was much better at it and could manage my time better. And so, kept the house clean, kept food on the table. I had a, I had a routine and a schedule throughout the day of how to get things done. But then once I started working outside of the home, uh, had, my grandmother used to say everything went to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> it's like, and my husband has been very understanding. Like, he understands. I think because for the first time in years, he actually feels like I'm working a real job. I'm working an overnight shift. I'm physically tired. Um, he's seen uh, the actual things that I do at work um, 
through me and he is not tripping at all about things not getting done the house not being clean the bed not being made like he is just not tripping he gets me now as before you know he was expecting things to be a lot different than what they were and he's always been a really clean person wants the house clean loves to come home to a to a good meal um i think i set the standard for that early in our relationship because early in our relationship i used to cook big meals for him all the time uh, that's one of the things i did when we were courting i would make these fantastic dinners and the house would be spotless and he would come over and i would fix his plate and bring it to him and you know my mom said was it my mom i think it was my mom it might have been my aunt my mom's twin somebody told me don't start what you're not gonna finish <laughs> and that made all you know in the beginning it did not make sense i thought that's what you were supposed to do for your husband and it is you should pamper him you should pamper each other right but that saying don't start what you ain't gonna finish is so true because if you're not going to keep doing it, don't start it. A man will come become accustomed to it real quick and he will expect it forever. My girlfriend, I'm not going to call her name, she said she never started it because her mother told her the same thing. And she, to this day, her husband does not expect her to fix his plate. There's certain things that she didn't even start. So I recognize that it's important to set the standard in anything, right? Especially in a relationship. So I try to pamper him from time to time. But I had to break him out of certain habits because... Physically, I wasn't able to do it or I was tired. Um, and if we went through some changes behind some of the things that I stopped doing because he had grown accustomed to me doing those things for him. And then he felt like I was like abandoning him, I would say. And it wasn't that I was abandoning, abandoning, <laughs> my tongue gets so tired abandoning him it was I just didn't have time I didn't have time um and so I made a joke about it one time and he was like you don't take care of me anymore and I said and I told him I said you know it's not that I don't want to spoil you but you got to learn how to do stuff for yourself and he was so offended by that statement <laughs> he was very very offended by that statement but he got over it and i told him i said i shouldn't have started what i wasn't gonna finish he didn't like that either but i needed him to understand that he couldn't rely on me to do the things that he could do for himself and i it was my fault y'all it was clearly my fault because I started it. I thought it was cute. And it was. You you woo each other with certain things um, in the beginning of a relationship. But as you mature, if I had met him later in life, I would have recognized the things that I was going to continue and the things that um i wasn't and i would have not that i wouldn't have done them from time to time but i wouldn't have set the standard of doing those things all the time because it gets tiresome right it gets real tiresome when you've had a long day 
and you just want to rest and relax and somebody is expecting you to get up and cook and fix their food and cater to them hand and foot it gets tiresome when you lead a, a busy life like me and my husband do you just can't you cannot so I don't know how I got off on that subject but <laughs> So now he asked me, now he asked me, hey, can you fix my food or I'm on my way home and I'm in a rush. Do you mind heating this up or making me a cup of coffee? He asked me, but most importantly, he doesn't expect it. He comes home and he does stuff for himself unless he's busy and in a rush. So... Um, we've grown and matured together in a lot of regards. We've made some changes together for the good and for the bad. My husband and I have a really good relationship. We are friends. He is my best. He's my best friend. Um, we're a good team. Um, we, we both have different responsibilities in the relationship. And we take them seriously. So when it comes to like making sure the bills are paid, making sure any paperwork that we need for our family um, is taken care of, um, organizing certain things that we have to do, that's my responsibility. But at the same time, the final say on decisions and how things will be handled for a household is my husband's responsibility. And we both recognize each other's role in the household and we appreciate it and respect it. So every relationship is different. Everybody got a different way of doing things. I don't know why I'm folding these sheets because I'm going to make the bed back up. I slept on top of a comforter, one comforter under me and one over me last night because the sheets were in the dryer. So I need to make up the bed and I have another set of sheets, but I didn't feel like making up the bed. So there you have it. Now that these are out and clean and ready to go, you can just put those back on. Still need to wash the comforters. So they can be dry before we go to bed tonight because I have to wash them one at a time. I wish there was a laundromat close because I honestly would take our comforters to the laundromat and wash them in a big washing machine and a big dryer because it would make life much easier. Our washer and dryer are small and so you can only wash one comforter at a time. And sometimes you can overload a washing machine and do it more damage. Honestly, I don't care about doing damage to our washer and dryer. I'm just secretly praying that either one of them go on out because if one goes out, I'm replacing both not just one. I really, really want a new washer and dryer. I am secretly thinking front loaders. Um, I've heard a lot of people have front loaders, but I have heard um, some mixed reviews about them. So if you have a front loader, tell me what your thoughts are. Would you buy another one? Um, 
are they a hassle to maintain like what would you do my friend Brian says that he prefers the top loader but the new kind that doesn't have the agitator on the inside and that's the kind that my mom has and it's not that she had a front loader and didn't care for it I think that she's heard mixed reviews about the front loaders as well or bad reviews and so she's never every time she has to replace her washer her washing machine she always gets the top loader and it may be because she's a creature of habit I don't know um, I don't have personal experience so please let me know down in the comment section if you have a front loader or if you've had one, what you feel about it um, and what you think is the best washer to go with because I'm really curious to hear personal experience regarding the front loaders. I'm going to scoop past you. We making some headway, y'all. We getting it done. We getting it done. We're not going to stop until it's done. have a guest over if I wanted to because they got a bed to sleep on the rest of the room needs to be done the curtains need to be hung in here um, got some stuff that is just being stored in here that we need to figure out what we're gonna do with but I got my guest room back and I'm super excited so thanks for spending time with me and motivating me to get it done. I hope you guys enjoyed this cleaning motivation video. If you have any problem areas in your home that you need to go ahead and tackle, that was the purpose. Go ahead and tackle those problem areas because the more you let it pile up, the harder it's going to be. So now I'm going to take a nap. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.